Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. So it is Friday, although we have been working, um, we've been out most of the day and then we've been working on putting my curtains up on a rail so that I can draw them against the sun. So, well that's Neil sneezing downstairs. Um, so yeah, I'm quite late coming to this, I didn't get it done in advance, so... It will be up, it will be with you, but it might be early Saturday morning. I don't know, we'll see. But this is the series on making uh, journal covers. And the one I'm making today, I'm puffed, aren't I? Yeah, I've been doing a bit of tidying away. Should have caught my breath before I turned the camera on. Um, the patchwork one. Yep, so I am starting with just one of my envelopes that I normally do. Um, I've covered this one in some just some backing fabric. Nothing that I'm not bothered about covering up because most of it will be covered. Um, and I've folded in and glued the ends rather than left them shabby on this one. I will have some shabby ends probably, but they'll be from, you know, the patchwork rather than that. And I've just put a, a book page in the middle of that just to give it a little bit of strength because I don't know uh, whether I'm going to put a spine in it or not. OK, so then I've brought along. What have I got? I just get bits out of my smaller um, scraps box. So these are um, pieces mainly that have been cut off from making the bigger journal covers. Yeah, so I, I often get strips like that left. Um, bit of Tim Holtz there, look. But you'll recognise a lot of these from the other journal covers that I went through. You know, rather than throwing them away, they do make quite nice um, patchwork patchwork covers. Um, so I've got those. And then I usually like some kind of um, at least one focal point, if not two, something sometimes three something front definitely sometimes front and a little bit on the back and maybe something smaller down here so i brought some doilies um or crocheted lace doily type thing but usually i like something like this now this is is it a, i can't remember whatever it was it's got why has it got string through it i can't remember it's like a tray isn't it it's not a cushion cover no it's like a yeah a tray cover it's been hand embroidered. It is vintage because it's from the antiques place. And it's, look, it's even got crocheted type lace on the edging. That's nice. Not had a good look at that before. Just appealed to me. So, you know, that could be, that could be my uh, main, what's the word? I've forgotten. <laughs> and then I've just bought some other bits of doily. Other things you could use, um, this is a vintage embroidered pillowcase, just one pillow sham, you know. It's got some beautiful pieces on it. That one would be too big, I think, but these, where are they? These smaller ones would be nice. This red work, it's got some beautiful lace on there to cut off as well. Um, yeah, they might be nice as a patchwork as well, or instead of something like this. A piece of this would be nice on it. So you get the idea. I've had this one a while and I haven't been cutting into it, and I, it probably is time that I did. I just love that. And then I can either coffee dye or use the rest of it for backing. So you've just about seen what I've got. Um, you know, sometimes I use pieces of this for, I've got a little birdie patch here. I think that came from, I think that came from Tanya. Um, you know, they could be mini focal points. I have got a bag of them, but I haven't brought them. So I've done one before with a rabbit on a patch. I remember, I remember it. Um, and these. So it is literally, um, rather than, I don't sew the pieces together, I sew them onto a back. So you're only going to see me piecing it and then I'll go off and sew it and then I'll come back and kind of show you uh, what it looks like. So, oh, they're both the same look. Now I don't want it to be a lacy one, so I don't want to overdo that centrepiece. I'm just thinking there's a nice circle there, look. So let's cut the circle, smaller circle out. Nothing gets wasted, so those other bits. And of course it's the beginning, so I may not even use a circle, but those other bits will definitely be nice trim somewhere. If not on this, they could end up on it. I never really know <laughs> what I'm going to end up with when I when I set out, I guess that's the thing. It's not um it's not like I've got it all sorted out ready to show you, because I guess that's not me. <laughs> it would would be nice sometimes, but um it's not how I roll. So one day I might. I'm just really digging through the fabrics and seeing what, what appeals to me. What kind of colours. I like that and I like the fact that it's um, crimped all the way around. Pinky cheered, that's it. 
but I don't want a piece that big. So I'm just going to grab some bits that I think I might like on it. I do like that. That's kind of um, velvety upholstered, upholstered and I can see that it likes to fray. Um, I don't mind pieces that fray. In fact, I quite like them as long as you get them stitched on first. So they only stray fray so far. Probably shouldn't be doing that on top of the cover, should I? Um, I'm just getting a few bits together that I think I'd like on it. So we're kind of going with a... Not that it really matters what's on here, but I've got pinks and blues and some greens on here. So we're going for that kind of vibe. Now let me look at this and I really ought to cut into it, otherwise I never will. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I want to keep the edge, that beautiful edge. I'll have to cut it somewhere. Cut it at this corner. I'm not going to sit and unpick it, even though it's obvious it's been hand stitched over. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and then I think what I'll do is just cut that beautiful edging off and then I can decide at a later date if I'm going to use it attached. So I've left it attached to a bit of the fabric or if I'm going to remove it completely. So it's like a variegated kind of, right, I don't know if I want it on there or not. Um, looks like, yeah. What do you call thread that you embroider with? Embroidery yarn, that kind of thing. Looks like a piece of that that they've created the, the lace with. Right, let me move that out of the way. So these bits, well, that was the one I wanted, wasn't it? I definitely don't want that on there. I think that edging kind of gives it something, but it is quite big. So let me make it smaller because the, the journal covers only a, a certain size. Now I could cut in between if I wanted and had a real small patch. Um, I'll see what it's like when I put it on. It might be that I don't like this and I need to cut that round, but we'll see. I think I'm getting, getting even smaller scraps here to the side of me. Um, I do like this birdie, so let's, like I say, I'm just collecting things that I think I might like. I do love this. Let's have that piece there. Again, let's, let's use those. M machine's not awful keen on going over that, my sewing machine, but it will little bits like that. Um, yeah, I've got all, all kind of the same size as well, haven't I? To you, that I saw there. I don't I don't want that bit, but you are kind of like sort of a silk denim. Yeah, I'm getting lots of small small pieces. Could do with some bigger pieces. Or longer. Now that's a that's a nice piece on its own, so we'll keep that. I don't want the floral. This is beautiful. It's very, very thready look. Um, I was thinking that might be nice up the spine, might it? So I'm going I am going to cut it. Although I would like it to, um, what's the word, when the threads come apart, fray, that's it, in, you know, in a certain place. I mean, there's probably too much of it anyway, I need to cut it down. If I'm putting it on the spine, I don't really want it to fray too much. I'll cut it down when I work out what size the spine is, and then I'll probably have a square to put somewhere else. Ooh. Now, of course, you don't have to have all fancy materials. It, it's nice with just some plain cotton pieces, um, especially underneath. So we're going with that. So we've got the birds and that as a kind of a, and perhaps that, a few centre pieces, haven't we? And then we've got a spine and some strips. So, yeah, we'll probably want some bigger squares now. I've got that in a strip, haven't I? But it would be a nice square. Rectangle. Some bigger pieces. I do love this green one as well. Again, this was gifted to me, I'm sure. I think. I say I'm sure. I'm not sure about anything anymore. So when I say I'm sure, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I've got a few longer pieces there. Um, I'm not going to cut that red one up because we've got the green one. <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, the blue one. But let's cut some of this. Um, these little pieces here are nice now. I probably could do with ironing. I'm not going to do that. 
Yeah, let's have the ordinary. Sometimes I like a, a rip. Oh, let's just go with it. Oh, yeah, it's it's very old and well laundered because it's just it's just ripping everywhere here, there, and everywhere. And I've washed it as well because as I did that, I could smell my. Oops, I often do. I could smell my own wash powder on it, liquid, whatever. Soap. Yeah, so that's a nice little bit to just add somewhere. I might even cut further around that. Then um, what else did I have? Now I've got some shiny stuff. I don't know if I want it on or not, but I love a polka dot, so I'll leave that bit there. There's another piece of shiny or lighter, but yeah, this. Love that as well. So I'm going to keep those two as well. Um, yeah, I'll leave all that there and decide. I can't decide if I wanted some of this or not, but okay, leave them there. In fact, I'll put them there. So let's see what we can do. And it's literally as simple as, just like we did with the lace one, layering them where we like them, or where we think we might like them. Where's the one I liked for the centre, that blue, because it's quite thick. Um, yeah, and I do put them down with a glue stick if they're, you know, won't stay put, but not all of them. We'll just go there with that one, because that, that'll be a nice piece. See how it frays. Maybe somewhere else bring in that, that colour in. Yeah, see how it frays. <laughs> Gosh, oh, that side's not... Oh, I have trimmed them, but they're still, still fraying. Okay, I'm loving the green part of this. I don't want that great big pink red. Actually, I might, might cut round it because that would make a nice, nice centerpiece on another one. Yeah, and as I suspected, that's way, way, way too big um, for what I'm, I'm after. So I'm going to cut that down really a lot, really a lot. <laughs> Um, might do a, a that kind of a shape. I like it with this blue, definitely. So I'm thinking I might want some white sheeting or something, something to pad it up a bit underneath. Um, like those birdies, perhaps hanging off that top corner. Whoops. So they might be nice over there with some kind of a trim round there, perhaps something like this. So up we go a bit. Do you want to go on there? Not quite. Not quite up there. Okay. So perhaps I think you need to be on the top because you're, you're a chunky monkey. Okay, I like this one. Might have that one hanging all the way over actually. That's it. Um a nice lovely green piece. Do I like it with the words on? I do, but I think I'd like them a bit less. Oh, that's another nice free one. I want you on top of both. No, I think I want you on top of everything. I think. No, not that. Not on top of that. How far out are you? No, you're all right. Okay, I'm not talking to myself, honestly. <laughs> so you can see there's not going to be much. Um, a bit like collaging. I want a bit of, of that overlap. Yeah, not much, if any, of the underneath one showing what have i got here this tim holtz just this um this color of this stamp caught my eye and this is a bit of tim holtz off cut so always nice where though piece of it under there perhaps that way up Yeah. I 
think it's this is going to be one of those um you know like previous times you um it just looks like something once it's done and I'm kind of you have to bear with me until then just looks like a a mishmash at the minute well it, it might still to you i don't know don't build it up too much denise <laughs> might still do by the time i'm finished but yeah i think i'll just have a bit more off there cut through that and then see if it'll rip in that direction it did yeah i like that it's not really covering that i'll probably sew round so it's not and we'll have that bit dangling down don't want to be at more of an angle take that off no because i'm covering that yep that's it i'll like that if i if i sew in there and that will just show flapping up i will like quite a bit i'm thinking some of this would be nice in or around here so inside or outside i guess is the question quite like it outside it's not hiding too much of that green is it with that bit hanging over it's a pity one just a little bit shorter you have that bit hanging over and then go right over there with that one we're in that one under i think aren't we yep okay and uh, once again i have not been gluing right i've got a lot of a lot of this green here so let's let's go in with i've not got this anywhere oh i'm not sure I quite like that so often i don't like all the same shape but um apart from here it's becoming very oblongy which i'm liking <laughs> for a change so i've got this big piece of this oh it is different to that one it's not that one what's going on here that's it trip of that might be nice down there i'm obviously liking the the crimped look i'm like weaving under and over <laughs> under and over yeah, I'm thinking this one needs, um, this side needs some kind of a, a focal. You have to remember also that it's not going to look like that, that it's going to look like that. Um, definitely got enough colour going on there, so I'm wondering about something a bit plain. I wonder if a, a bit of this, have less of this. Oh, not those. Have a bit of this up, up there. Not exactly plain, but it's colour wise, it is. No, I liked it like that. Might have to go just inside a bit like that. Um, have I got you somewhere? Did I pull you out? Were you in there? No, I was going up here, wasn't I, with that? Yeah, I turned it over, that's what I did to show you you'll only see one side of it at once okay what do we think the thing is i adjust it as i sew it as well i think we are very patterned here uh, maybe i want to swap this oops this blue one for this plain blue one here was I under everything? I can't remember. Can't remember. You're even lower down now. Where were you? Just tucked under or? I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's tuck you under there. See that green's nearly all gone now. Okay, I think I've got more than enough going on. We're thin here. Um, so do we just want some plain... Oops, off we got. Not bad. 
out some of this lace off its pillowcase. That'll help me cut into it, won't it? So, um, let me just show you what I'm doing rather than cut it off screen. Um, what I want is a piece of the material with a piece of the lace on it. So, I'm just going to take a chunk like that and I'm wondering if it'll rip that way. Oh, it's like, um, it's a very thick vintage cotton might if you yeah so it rips easy but it's very thick if you see what I mean I'm not taking anything with me there that I shouldn't have right where did I say I was a bit I'm just wondering about that thick it should be fine though here wasn't it was it here it's nice when you stretch it out yeah, we were a bit thin there. Might even got more of an angle. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut that down some more. <laughs> Are you with me? See, that's all I've taken off. But sometimes a piece as small as that can make a big difference. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the back's okay. Just this bit up here now. That needs something. You're going over there. And you are out over there. <laughs> I like that on there, but I feel like I need something under it. I'm wondering about some of this black dotty. It may not. Because I don't really want to put any more pattern. Now, I know dotty is a pattern. I, I won't know unless I cut a piece, will I? That's got that lovely frayed edge on there. Let's go with that then. If we're going to have any, we might as well have the frayed bit. Not frayed, well, it is kind of frayed. It's the edging. It's been torn, sewn and torn by the looks of it. But yeah, sometimes you have to put things together that you're not sure even go together. Now, I need to decide if I like where that is. I'm wondering if I'd rather have it in a top corner or if I'd rather have less of it. It just seems to be dominating. So where can I can cut this little flower off here, no problem. It's not attached to anything. And that will be a lovely addition. And actually, so is that pink one, so... Yes, I've got an odd shape now, Denise. Well done. Yep, that's better. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. It's all the, all the threads, I think. Okay, you might just... Right, I'm, gonna, I'm going to stitch some of it on, the base bits, and then see. Um, if I decide to move any, I'll come on and let you know. I had some more of that if I wanted it, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like I am with the lace. The more I add, the more I like. Got a nice plain white piece there. That might be nice as a patch just in the middle of that. Okay, let me clear <laughs> clear my desk so I can put my sewing machine on and I'll stitch some of it on and I will be back. Okay, I've just stopped kind of halfway through just to, um, you know, show you how I'm sewing it on and what I'm, what I'm doing. I will go and um, take all the threads off the front, or the majority of them, when I've done. Um, because I'm sewing in the middle, I'll have threads front and back initially. So I've just picked certain pieces um, to stitch on. So I stitched around this one with a, just a straight stitch, not very straight, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and it's got a little bit of padding, I quite like that, that's fine. I did a zigzag around there, but I stopped there. Because I did this one second, so I didn't go over this. I just went on the bit that was showing. Um, what else? Didn't do anything else. Uh, they're just being held on my by bits that I did. I've done a is that a zigzag? Yeah, I've done a thin zigzag just across the top of that one, and it grabbed that there, and then I stopped there because I didn't want to go across the spine with it. And then I started it again there. Can you see? 
and just went down there so that caught that in and then you know I've lifted all these bits off to, to sew on it and I decided I would put that on I obviously no I didn't I stitched that second I did stitch that first so I started here and went across up and across down down and up so that didn't grab that but I did grab that um, and I haven't gone right to the edge anywhere because I'm go what I'm going to do around the edge when I put the two I'll make it like I did my previous ones when I put the you know the front and the back of the journal together I will go around the outside with a zigzag and I'll probably do it with a colour um maybe maybe black I don't know well I'll see what what colour speaks to me but you know a colour that will will show up so these things I didn't move them too far away from where I wanted them you know so I could remember uh, maybe <laughs> maybe remember where they were going but they will end up in you know a different place to to where they started that is for certain but um you know i will then i'll choose some more um, i'll probably come over here now and yeah that one's i mean that one will get caught in when i do the edge one so maybe i'll just stitch that one down that's caught in a little bit look so that is where it, it's gonna fall um and so is that one so they're all caught in there so i can just you know stitch around these now i'll stitch that one on and then I'll, I'll flatten these and stitch around them and then i'll just go in and put you know the extra bits on the top it really is as simple as that and then if i've got gaps you know like i seem to have a, a gap all the way down there i can decide if i'm going to tuck something in i'll put some lace on it or but i'll show you that again in a moment i'll just get a bit more sewn down okay there we go so i decided against the embroidered piece it was just it was dominating it way too much but i did want um, some green something bright and poppy um, but a lot smaller and it didn't matter how much smaller I cut that it just wasn't right so um, I got a piece of my this is from a vintage I've not got much of it left um, a vintage well it was just sleeves I think I got in a, an old sewing box but I, you know it's proper it's proper oldie worldy <laughs> lovely cotton so yeah that's just give it a pop there and I like it what else have I done I didn't want that there I decided I had a piece of that I don't know where it's gone it'd be kicking around somewhere um so I just grabbed a piece of what's that called wedding dress net really netting um and just did that across there so it's given it um a bit of lift a bit of dimension remember these corners and edges will all be stitched down when I stitch the two thing together um I also put some can you see that it's just a small piece I had of um voile do they call it a tool one of those things with little um love heart dots on it so it, again it gave it just a little bit of something but without adding any more color gave it a bit of texture um so I moved this over and stitched this on here um Everything else I, I kind of stitched down. I've used some straight stitches, some zigzaggy stitches. There's a lot of threads to come off it. I know I like some threads, but that's what I was talking about, about having something that frays when you stitch a square and then it frays round. It gives it a lovely, lovely look. But a lot of these threads need to, my sewing threads need to come off. Not in there. Look, they will all be, <laughs> they will be all be, well, mostly glued in and stitched in. But you can kind of see the shapes the different zigzags and the straight um, lines that I've done and um, it seems to be hanging over I think everywhere which is kind of what I wanted now you could layer and layer you could put lace around the edge on top you could put lace in between the two when you sew them together um, you know you can put more layers of material on I don't think you can do too many to be honest um, you know little pieces like this really lift it in places i'm not going to put this on because it's not the right color but you know little squares like that over squares over squares you know if you've got the the time to sit and, and stitch and um it can be quite effective if you change threads as well or you use a really dark thread i went around there in a circle-ish sort of i think yeah sort of a circle um yeah i don't think there's much more to tell you other than i will I will now stitch it onto a back that I've got made um, with the darker thread around the edge so you get to see the finished journal. So I'll be back letting you have a look at that. Um, before you do that, if you want like a book plate or you want to stitch buttons or beads and things like that on it, now is the time to do that before you stick the back on and then you haven't got to hide the back of your work. We you can do it afterwards, but you know, now would be a good time for that. Okay, that's that all stitched together. So I... Um, I trimmed any long white 
threads that might go over the edge because I've done it in like a jade, a jade green. You can say I haven't quite met there where I started, but that's not really an issue because um, I'll turn it over and show you. We've kind of got bits sticking up at the top. We've got bits, you know, sticking over at the sides and there's nothing at the bottom from the front. I didn't particularly hang anything over the edge at the bottom. Um, and I do I do want something hanging over there so I could uh, put some net or some lace or some um, fabric strands anything out of my my scrap box um, and I will um, just along the bottom um, probably just with a straight white stitch I guess yeah maybe just a bit of lace um, so that we're hanging over we're hanging over all over so that's what the final um, piece looks like I did have a little one of my little button um, clusters here I was going to put on and show you but yeah I, I have to warn you I'm, I'm absolutely covered in threads my floor is covered in threads and fabric and so is my oh there it is yeah so something like this perhaps not this one but something like this would be nice um stitched on um buttons definitely piece of jewelry have i got jewelry yeah i can't reach it though i've got some in here no, you're all bling. Tidied it out and I've put it a little bit higher. Um, God, let, let me see. Oops. Rather than showing you half the job. Oh. You know, a brooch or a piece of... Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. It's like a cameo. I've been saving that for the right piece. Might, might just be that. Mm, I like it. Okay. <laughs> that one doesn't go, but see what I mean? A piece, piece of something gorgeous on there. And the old earrings you've got. Brads. Like I say, buttons are good. I do quite, I do quite like that on there, though. That might end up on there. So what I'll do is, I'm not doing it today because it's quite late now. I'm going to... Um, pack in and leave this to upload and see how long it takes um but i will sew a signature in it probably first thing in the morning and then um what's tomorrow saturday it's book page day tomorrow isn't it so i'll show you a flip through of it with the, the signature in and then you'll see whether i've decided to put that um that on it or not i see that you are oh no you're not you are where you need to be sorry i've I've i just can't you look you look a bit strange in the <laughs> in the camera could just be that i'm tired so, um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe some little beads on that would be nice, wouldn't they? Stitched on that. And I could do that now because it's not stitched down. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing um, how I did my, my patchwork. Nothing thrilling. <laughs> Nothing, you know, earth shattering, different, new about it. If you don't like it shabby cheeky, you know, shabby, not cheeky. If you don't like it shabby, this is not the way to do a patchwork. Um, there are lots of other ways to do it, but... You know, this is how I do mine. It's a good way to use, you know, little pieces of, of beautiful bits like this that you don't want to use up. You've not got much, but you, you know, you want little bits of it. It's a great way to do that. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow with a, a journal in it and um, maybe that on it and book page. So have a lovely whatever's left of your Friday, if it still is Friday when this is when this is uploaded. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.